Welcome to another episode of Geocaching with Komakino and possibly the kid. She might show up a little bit later on here depending on how this episode goes. What I'm doing right now is I'm out trying to find some geocaches that start with specific letters. V and Y. Why? Because I love you. <laughs> no, because I'm working on an alphabet challenge. A friend of mine, Paul, you might know him from my videos, you know, Paul's back. He told me about some challenge caches in the area up by Oso. There's 26 of these challenge caches, A through Z, and the requirements to complete them are, well, they could be pretty easy or pretty difficult. The challenge is for each letter, you need to find 26 of each. Why? Because 26 letters in the alphabet, and you need to find 26 caches of each letter. 26 caches that start with A, no problem. B, no problem. C, no problem. <laughs> it's not until you get to the later letters that you start running into troubles. Y, Z, V, X, U. <sighs> yeah, those are pretty tough. So what I did was I went out, got on the Project GC, compared some friends of mine that have found some of these caches, so I can try and find the caches that they found for the letters that I need and came up with there's some in the area that I can possibly get to. Some of these letters that are going to be really difficult are, again, like V, U, X, Y. So I'm out here today to try and hopefully find two Ys and a V cache. So join me as I try and get a couple here to knock this challenge down a little bit. I walked right past that cat. <laughs> Can't see it? That's great, because neither did I. There it is. Ammo can. Here we go. It's a V catch. <laughs> and now it's starting to hail. I mean, it was raining a little bit ago, but now it's turned into hail. <laughs> and of course, I didn't bring a hat or anything. It got real cold and it started the hail. <laughs> to me, challenge caches add a little bit of excitement to the game of geocaching. Sure, you can go out and just find your random geocache here and there, but challenges add a little bit of excitement to it. They give you something to work for, something big to look forward to, like your Jasmine challenge or a monthly variety challenge. If you haven't looked into challenge caches, I would advise you to do so. It adds so much more to the game, like rain. As I said, I went to Project GC and I set up my list of caches that I need in the area that start with the letters that I'm needing to finish each individual letter, which will give me the option then to go through and get all the caches <laughs> that were hidden for those letters. Now for the V caches, like the one I just found here, as of the middle of the week, I needed eight. I found one on New Year's Eve. Got this one here. Now down to six for V. And I need six for Y. And as you can hear, 
it's hailing pretty hard out. Luckily, I got this V-cache when I did. But um, not sure if I'm going to be able to get to those two white caches. Um, I'll head out to the Aryan location, see if it's doable. But, yeah, hail. Nice. As you can see, the uh, weather's lightened up a little bit. It's not as cold. <laughs> it's not hailing like it was. It's just a constant drizzle of rain here now. And people are putting golf balls in the tree stumps. And no, that's not the cash. Oh well, maybe next time. over you can see the root ball right there wow this is beautiful i wish it wasn't so rainy so i could enjoy it better but this little swamp is uh, pretty cool I hate it when the hint is so obvious, but then there's like 15 of the hint items around. Then you gotta spend all that time searching for it in the rain. And then it turns out to be in the last place you look. It's right there. And here we go. Another white cache. That's gonna give us five more white caches to go. Now there's one more white cache in the area that I can probably get, but it's so cold out now. This rain is freezing and the cache is like further off the trail than what this one is. So I don't know if I'm gonna try it or not, but we'll go out to the location and see if it's doable. Got out to the location here where the second cache that starts with the letter Y that I need for my challenge is. And the weather's calmed down a bit. It's not as rainy. It's not even drizzling. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try this one here before everything goes crazy again. So off to the second Y. Y. No, I'm not going to go there. It's a complete 180 from what it was about an hour ago. It was hailing, it was freezing, it was cold. Got out to the second cache location and it was rainy and cold. I mean, my fingers were freezing. I could barely hold on to the cache there and open it because my fingers were so numb. And now it's not clear skies, but a lot better than what it was. <laughs> Holy cow. Anyway, let's get this thing. And here we go. The second white cache of the day. Oh, cool. 
Hopefully this isn't an omen of things to come. There we go. So this was a pretty good challenge run today. Got one V cache, knock those down to five. Then I've got these two Y caches here, knocking that total that I need now down to four. Well, there you have it. Three caches found towards the alphabet challenge that I'm working on. I got a V and two Y caches. And it's going to take so much more to get through the rest of them. But that's the thing about challenge caches. It's a challenge. It's not going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of time and effort to put into them to get them completed. Are you working on any challenge caches? Are you working on your Jasmine? Are you working on your Jasmine for your first time, your second time, third, or maybe fourth? If you're working on it for your fourth time, I'm so jealous I'm not even done with my first Jasmine challenge. Challenges add so much more to the game of geocaching. It's more than just going out and finding a random cache. It's giving you something to do. It's giving you a goal, something to look forward to. What challenges are you working on? Let me know down below. Interesting to see what you all are working on here these days. And until next time, cash on. <laughs>